Hello, this is Bruno with a new segment called 10 Minutes or Less with Bruno No BS. A very simple, casual interview. No fancy cameras here. Today I have the honor to speak with Jason, a good friend of mine who works for Baker Roofing, one of the largest roofing companies in the United States with a beautiful history. How you doing, buddy? Doing good, Bruno. How are you doing? So far, so good. Can't complain. How long have you been in the roofing industry? Man, I've, I've been in the roofing industry consistently since the end of the 90s. So in a little over 20-something years now. When did you realize roofing would be a career for you? <laughs> well, I was trying to work for it. I was working for an engineering company here in the Charleston, South Carolina area. I uh, was doing consulting. I was going to school at nights. Uh, started having some babies. Then realized that once I got my rest roof consultant uh, certificate that, uh, you know what, maybe I didn't need to finish the school. Maybe I would be okay with that. And I decided that uh, it was a good profession. I would stick with it. How do you feel uh, working for a big uh, roofing company like Baker Roofing? Um, Baker Roofing is, it, it is a big company. There's no doubt about it. Uh, the, the difference is, is it's still family owned. It's still family operated. and still get a Bible verse and my email every day. Um, it's, the it's about the heart and soul and that's really what i'm about too I've always been that way and uh we it's the goods and bads right so i mean we're a big company we can buy some things for, for good points but at the same sense it's it's about the it's a, it's about the the culture that we have hey, how long have you been working for baker and what's your functions at baker roofing so i've been working with baker roofing since july of 2011 so about nine right at nine years now at the current time, I'm a contract manager, so it's more about re-roof uh, negotiations and, and I call it consul consulting. I am a rest roof consultant. I think I'm probably the first rest roof consultant you've had on any of your interviews. Um, been in the business a long time. Man, Tiger Woods was born to play golf. I was born for roofing, roofing and waterproofing. It's my there you go. <laughs> I sleep it. I drink it. It's all I do. It's I love it. Anyone who knows me. And I've been around long enough now. They've got some people who know me, know that this is what my passion is. I love it. So what do you see one of the biggest mistakes of being a consultant? Sometimes, you know, there's a lot, a lot of uh, conflict between, you know, uh, roofing and engineers, you know, uh, roofing contractors. <laughs> like, what are one of the biggest mistakes you see? Maybe some over-designing things. I think I think that's a lot of what I've – it's, it's been an adjustment. It really has because I went from, you know, being – by the book technically, and I'm still very technically sound, don't get me wrong, but it was always, there's no gray area, it's black or it's white, and it, and it is, and it can be, it's just that the realisticness of being on the contractor side and having done this for a while, man, you got to count every screw before you go to the job site, you know what I mean? There's a lot more to it that you just make some assumptions on the design side, not that that's a, you know, bad for consultants, it's just that um, there, there is a much more high level degree of uh, intricacy with the contractor. But what, what's awesome about it, right. you're actually tied to the, cons the consumer's purse strings a lot more, and you can feel their pain. You can, you, you got empathy with them, and, and, and you can make them happy. You can make them sad. Obviously, our job is to, to do a good job and make them happy. Do you think every uh, uh, roofing company should have had a consultant? I think it would definitely be valuable. Okay. It's absolutely necessary, but I do think it's a valuable uh, asset to have. I mean, I, I bring in knowledge wealth. I'm not the only rest roof consultant at Baker Roofing. We have one other, a uh, very good friend of mine, known for years and years. Uh, but, but we're looking out for, we really do look out for the company uh, and to, are we doing the right thing? We want to do the right thing. All right. For the new generation, uh, what do you need to, be, to do to be a consultant? What, what, what kind of tasks you got to do? What, what kind of study you need to do? How many hours you need to be experienced? Can you tell us a little bit so that they can, you know, maybe follow the same footstep that you do? Well, Bruno, that's a good question. And it's a, it's a long answer, to be honest with you. Um, the short version, please. <laughs> the short version is I was, never, I was never saying, hey, Jason, come over here. Let me make you a rest root consultant. Um, I was fortunate enough to work with some really good guys. So I would say first is surround yourself with good people. That, 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 that's absolutely buddy. Super important. Second is stop, slow down and pay attention. 
you know, the Eiffel Tower wasn't built overnight and your career won't be built overnight. Allow experience to take its place, but engage yourself. Um, the, the other thing is, is you need to get that experience and then you need to go to these the classes. You need to go attend the classes. Well, I'm going to say RCI, but it's IBEC, IIBEC. Um, if you want to have certificates in these registrations, you have to attend their classes. The other thing I'd say is go online, download their application because that's half the battle, in my opinion, super long, especially for the RC. Yeah, yeah. I've seen that once. <laughs> it is. It's, it's, it's crazy. But, but look, you, just not, you don't want just anybody to be able to be considered an RC, right? So uh, it's kind of the crown jewel, we say. Um, and there's other designations as well. But it's, it's important that you have an idea of what's going to be there. And then you need to know it. You need to study it. It's, it's, it's more to it than what a lot of people say. It's a tough exam. Right. Yeah, because I heard a lot of people that they fail like a couple of times until they finally fasten or they try one, two, three, four, and then, and then they yeah. finally did it. And I know those guys. I do know those guys. And, but I'm going to tell you something. Study. Study. Don't walk back in and take that exam a second time or third time, fourth time, and have it studied. And there's so many guys that go, I didn't have to because I knew what I meant. Okay, whatever. Listen, um, study and take it serious. You're going to walk out with a headache, and that's probably a good sign. <laughs> Here we go. What do you see for the future of our roofing industry, for our new generation, for the people that are coming right now to our industry, you know, young people, you know? Well, I can tell you this. I, have a, I love to teach people. I love, there's nothing better than to have a young guy who gives off that, that smell of eagerness, right? Who just, he, he just, he wants it. And he's got the energy behind it. You know, some of those older guys who kind of, kind of lose a little flame, still got it, but losing some, and they just want it. And you can see it and you can do it and you can share with them the knowledge and they just, just start taking hold and they start growing. Um, that's, that's what I, I love to do that. Once a month, if not, you know, I do a lot of training with Big Roofing where I do technical presentations. I got quite a bit of them that I've done I'm trying to encourage the young guys that it, there's a real business here. It really is. The roofing industry is a true business. We need people who can learn it and know it and take charge and lead it. Any message out there for the people watching this video could be towards the coronavirus because right now is the topic of everything, you know. Bruno, you know, yes, uh, and, and I've watched all the other guys you talked to, and, man, I, I wholeheartedly agree with what, what everyone's saying. Um, what I would tell you is two words, response and reaction or reactive. Uh, if you notice the word responsibility has the word response in it, there's a difference between being responsive and being reactive. With this COVID thing, let's not get too respond, reactive. Let's be responsive. Mean, let's think things through. Let's use ele educated um, you know, concepts. And I think in the end, we'll come out stronger. Let's just not overreact is I guess what I'm saying. So that we have full-time safety personnel. We have one of the most passionate people, we got any Robert Hudson, one of the most passionate people I know about his job. He's as passionate about safety as I am about roofing. Um, and and they, they've taken countless steps to prepare from bottled water to gloves, to sanitizing trucks, to, Mask. you know, social distancing, mask and, I mean, it, there's been a tremendous amount of effort put into that, a lot of thought processes. It is happening. I can say that. I've seen it. Um, and look, we're going to be better. We're going to be better from this. I mean, we all are. Appreciate you, buddy. Thank you very much. Be safe out there. And call me. You know my number. You know how to find me, buddy. All right. All right. Good work. Thanks, bro. All right. You take care. Be safe.